A playground built for everyone is now open for everyone. Maryland's Oasis, an all-inclusive playground, is now open at Bay Beach Amusement Park. It's located just west of the Zip and Pippin roller coaster, and it features specialized equipment allowing for a safer, fun for everyone. There are swings, a serenity spot, musical components, a roller slide, and a play space for younger children. Maryland's daughter says it's the perfect way to honor her late mother. Mom would have loved this. It is so fitting as mom came here as a child for family picnics and to play at the beach. Mom loved children and she would smile, and I mean a comforted, satisfied, loving smile to see all children play here. Maryland's Oasis is named after Marilyn Cress Swanson, the late daughter of Green Bay Packaging's founder, George Cress. Amazing demonstration of investment in the community and Ilya Masaneri good doing. And that came from three main donors, which we're going to hear about in just a minute. The George M. Cress Foundation, Green Bay Packaging, and that wonderful Cress family. The Wisconsin Public Service Foundation, a partner with Green Bay for a hundred and many years. And the neighbor across the street, the McDonald companies represented by Chip McDonald in this room. So let's hear a little bit more about what this means and what this meant to this woman from the Crest Foundation. I'd like to introduce from the foundation, Michelle Hansen. Good morning. On behalf of the George Crest Foundation and Green Bay Packaging, we are honored to introduce this beautiful new toy playground in honor of Marion Crest and Swanson. Marion was the daughter of our founders, George Crest, and she truly believed in, in, in education and empowering women and family values. So this truly is a, a touching tribute to her and it will continue her commitment to bringing happiness to families and children in our community and beyond. And so we're just so excited to be here today to see the kids on this playground. And with that, I'd like to introduce Marilyn's daughter Terry to talk about Marilyn. I need all the help I can get there. I'm trying to recruit. Good morning. I am Terry Whitman, Marilyn Swanson's daughter. I am here representing my brother, Mike, who's here today, my sister, Kristen, and all of Marilyn's grandchildren, Meg, Daniel, Eric, Nikki, Hannah, and Emma. First, I want to thank the friends of Bay Beach Amusement Park for their vision, fundraising, and vigilance to see this wonderful project come alive. I know from personal experience, sorry. <laughs> I know from personal experience the energy, the angst, and the sweat it takes to make worthy projects happen. I hope you revel in your success as much as every child that visits this playground will. Thank you also to the City of Green Bay for supporting such a fantastic park system for this community and for all our welcome visitors. I feel it is something we can and should brag about. And of course, a huge shout out to all of the donors, supporters, construction crew, Leo Recreation specifically, designers, and of course, to the George Crest Foundation who made the naming rights in memory of our mother possible. Also, I need to give a love thanks to Michelle Hansen waited patiently to find the perfect fit for mom's memory. Thank you to you all. We made, we made this come to life. 
Now, as it is a memorial to our mother and our grandmother, I would like to share a couple of thoughts about mom on a personal level. First of all, mom would have loved this. It is so fitting as mom came here as a child for family picnics and to play at the beach. Mom loved children and she would smile, and I mean a comforted, satisfied, loving smile to see all children play here. Growing up, our mother had a few guidelines, one might call them rules, regarding our childhood friendships. Number one, there is always room for one more. Number two, no exclusive, no exclusivity or gossip or jealousy is allowed in friendships. Three, embrace the differences in friends and in those same friends, be moved by your ironic sameness. And four, soda pop can only be consumed on weekends or special occasions. <laughs> I believe this all-inclusive play playground, just by its being, covers her advice. Thank you very much.